friend in America, Mrs. Anna Sartoria, third officer, WAC, New York City. Unexpected pleasure was letter from young woman from America, woman soldier, for which take thanks from the heart. We both wives and mothers, and we must help our men with work. My husband, Boris, he is sergeant in tank corps and two times decorated. I work in factory. It is new working in factory, but we are in war and all for the front. They need it. When factory move few hundred kilometers inside beyond Ural Mountains, I too went with my children. All my friends did same. Some went to mines. My best friend Olga now a miner. Very many working in hundreds of Russian war factories, making guns and shells, even learn how to shoot. My two podrogi, what you say, girlfriend, fight in Red Army. We do what is good for motherland, whether make weapons or use them on Hitler beasts. It's same war for us all. From Boris today, I receive a letter. You must hear it. My little wife, once more we have stopped in our advance and I have time to write. It is no longer cold. Already the green leaves provide good camouflage. We have just eaten. It is good to be alive. Still, as always, we attack. Yesterday, my colonel told us the Red Army defends by incessant attack. Behind us, tank reserves are moving up. Within our lines now is much of the ruined land, still smoking, set on fire by the Germans as they withdrew. Poor fools. They cause so much suffering, so much waste, so much hate, for nothing. They are proud that four millions of us already have died defending the motherland, as if we had nothing to die for, Natasha. Like Pyotr Vasilievich's four sons, who when the Hitlerites had taken their village, fought the invaders in the streets with any weapons they could find. They died, and now Russia lives. My husband, he writes well. The papers say our tanks attack again in his sector. He is back in battle, but he says he is glad, for he knows the importance of what he does every day is still alive. We also behind the lines, fighting the same as Russian men and women in trenches. Still, my Boris, he writes, work still harder, Natasha, work still harder. So many in Russia lost their homes, like me, and wait to go back home to peace. For if my Boris alive, someday he will be great engineer doing much to reconstruct our motherland left in ruins by Nazis. Though already six and a half million Nazis dead or prisoners, still they fight for no good reason, while we fight for every decent prison on earth. They are wrong. We know we are right. stationed in the Caribbean, wants to know why Army and Navy Screen Magazine doesn't show some pictures of Marshal Tito, famous Yugoslav patriot. Here, deep in the mountains of Yugoslavia, and heavily guarded by his loyal partisans, you see the first and only pictures of Marshal Tito ever taken. It was Marshal Tito who organized the whole Yugoslav people after they'd been sold out into a new and powerful state against Hitler and on the side of the United Nations. 
Knowing nothing about him, he was long called the mystery man of the Balkans. Now the only mystery seems to have been why we didn't know anything about him sooner. Deeply loved by the people he's led, Marshal Tito is one of the great men to emerge from the war.